Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gorn. In our today's video, we will talk about rationalization or on how to rationalize the denominator. So I have here two examples na makikita nyo at ituturo ko sa inyo within our tutorial video. The first one is the square root of 5 over 2 wherein the denominator of this radical is, is a single term. Next, for the second example, we have here 3 over 5 plus the square root of 7. And kung ano notice nyo, in this example, yung ating denominator has two terms. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at ihit mo na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating mga latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Let's do this topic. Now for the first example, we have here the given, the square root of 5 over 2. Again, in this case, yung ating denominator is a single denom single term denominator. So, what will happen or paano ba natin gagawin yung tinatawag nating rationalization? Or bakit ba natin kailangan siyang gawin? Uh, simple rule kasi when it comes to simplifying radicals is that we're not allowing na yung denominator natin ay mayroong radical. Allowed na mayroong radical sa numerator but sa denominator hindi pwede. So, Diyan na ipapasok yung ating discussion or bakit mayroong rationalization. So we have, again, we have the square root of 5 over 2. And the first step you need to do here is to express this given radical into the quotient of two radicals. So paano ba natin gagawin yun? You need to apply the law of radicals. Wherein, if that is square root of 5 over the square root of 2, gawin mo siyang square root of 5 over the square root of 2. So, ganun siya. I-express mo siya bilang quotient ng dalawang radicals. And then, ang target natin is to eliminate this radical. So, ang reason kasi bakit hindi siya, bakit hindi natatanggal yung ating radical is just because your radicand 2 is not a perfect square. So, isip ko ngayon, ano yung way natin? Paano natin siya matatanggal? Ang reason, ang gagawin nyo lang naman is to make this denominator a perfect square. So, paano nga po? You will think of a radical wherein when you multiply this square root of 2, it will become a perfect square. And that is square root of 2. So, you will, you will be multiplying the whole radical expression by the square root of 2 over the square root of 2. Pinakamadaling isipin nyo rito na kapag single lang yung term ng denominator mo na irrationalize, gawin mong parehas lang yung pamumultiply mo if kailangan mo siya maging perfect square. So you need to multiply it by the square root of 2 over the square root of 2. And by multiplying, you have the square root of 5 times the square root of 2 that will give you the square root of 10. Okay, the square root of 10 over square root of 2 times the square root of 2 that will give you the square root of 4. Kung mapansin nyo, this one is already a perfect square. We're in, we can extract the roots and yung square root of 10 natin, wala na siyang pwedeng i-factor out. So that is square root of 10 over etong square root ito is simply 2. Therefore, the correct answer for number 1 is the square root of 5 over the square root of 2. Now, for item number 2 naman, guys, as you can see, we have here 3 over 5 plus the square root of 7, wherein yung denominator natin ay dalawa yung terms niya. So, rationalization pa rin na mangyayari, but it's quite different from the first example. So, paano ba ginagawa yan? By the way, kapag may dalawa tayong terms, ang kailangan mong gawin dyan is you need to find the conjugate. Tuturo ko lang muna sa inyo yung konsepto ng conjugate. Ang conjugate ng isang radical expression, let's say for example, you have 3 plus the square root of 2. Ang gagawin mo lang naman is to change the sign of, or change the operation between the two terms. If that is 3 plus the square root of 2, ang conjugate niya ay 3 minus the square root of 2. Try natin, let's have another example. Let's say for example, you have the expression 
as the square root of 5 minus the square root of 7. Okay? Ang conjugate ng, negative, ng square root of 5 minus the square root of 7 is simply the square root of 5 plus square root of 7. Ang nangyari lang is from subtraction, it became addition. Ito naman, from addition, it became subtraction. Ganun lang yung conjugate. So, since alam na natin yung konsepto ng conjugate, we're now ready to rationalize this kind of example. Para i-rationalize ito, you need to find the conjugate of 5 plus the square root of 7. So, if that is 5 plus the square root of 7, ang gagawin mo lang naman is to change this operation into subtraction and then copy the terms which is 5 minus the square root of 7. So, what you need to do is to multiply, again, you need to multiply the numerator and denominator by its conjugate, iting kanyang conjugate. You have 5 minus square root of 7 over 5 minus the square root of 7. So what will happen is you need to multiply these numerators and the denominators. It will become 3 times 5 minus the square root of 7. And for your denominator, it will become 5 plus the square root of 7 times 5 minus the square root of 7. For the numerator part, you will be applying distributive property. So this is 3 times 5, that will give you 15. While 3 times negative 7, square root of 7, that is negative 3 square root of 7 over... Sir, what about the denominators? Medyo marami ang term. Oh, basically, you will be applying, um, you will be applying FOIL method, but the shortcut there is you, you can apply difference of two squares. So since pares kasi yung term nila, pero magkaiba lang ng operation sa gitna, kunin mo first term, which is 5. So 5 square minus yung square root of 7, yung second term mo, is a square mo rin. And then simplifying it, it will give you 15 minus, ito natin ilagay, 15 minus 3 square root of 7, copy natin yung numerator, over yung 5 square mo, that is 25. At yung, ito naman, copy mo yung negative, tapos yung square root of 7, itong part na to, ha, dito na tayo sa part na to, Yung square root of 7, when you square square root of 7, it will become 7. So, simplify mo lang yung numerator sa denominator. So, ito muna. 15 minus 3, square root of 7, over 25 minus 7, it will give you 18. Ngayon, isipin mo, ay sir, wala na tayong radical sa denominator. ba? 18 na lang siya. It means, pwede na siya. But, you need to remember, in mathematics, when you're dealing with numbers and expressions, you need to secure whether your answer is already in simplified form or in simplest form. We have here 15 and 3. Tapos meron ka pang 18 sa ilalim. Meaning, you can factor out 3 kasi ang kanilang greatest common factor is 3. So, pwede may factor out ang 3 dito. It will become 3 times... 5 minus the square root of 7 over 18. We're in. Ito ay magiging 1. Ito ay magiging 6. Therefore, the correct answer for item number 2 is simply 5 minus the square root of 7 over 6. This is the correct answer for item number 2. So, I hope na in our two examples about rationalization or rationalize, rationalizing denominators ay natutunan niyo kung paano siya eliminate. Again, tandaan niyo ha, we're not allowing radicals sa denominator. So again, 
If you are new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at ihit mo na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating mga latest uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye! Okay, guys, you can also like and follow our Facebook page which is named as Math Teacher Gon. We're uploading this for our followers on Facebook so I hope na ma-follow nyo rin at makita o kaya ma-visit ang ating page. So right now, uh, we have we have 14,000 followers and likers of this page and I hope na makasama namin kayo sa page na to. God bless.